Greetings and welcome to um, Hearthstone Year of the Mammoth bundle back opening. I noticed this bundle game like a while ago and now I'm finally... I, I mean, I decided to buy it just to see like if it's actually worth it. Like, it's, I think it's desi designed to be like returning player bundle so it's it's easier to come back you don't have to spend as much money and time as you will have to without this bundle so like it gives 10 of uh Ango angoro packs and 10 of thingamatics wait what was this mid catacomb what's this no wait oh yeah right catacombs right and the north end whatever was the pack even uh, expansion even called um yeah whatever and uh, no i still haven't done go but catacombs dungeon run i mean i haven't played hearthstone that for long and that's why i'm actually talking that makes me talk from perspective of, of someone who hasn't played hearthstone for a long time and i'm seeing if these packs are actually worth it it's, they are well, 20 euros um, they were 20 euros, and well, we'll see if they are worth the price. I mean, 10 packs, um, a 30 packs for 20 euros is pretty good overall. Wait, yeah, so you could double for the price basically. And it's like multiple expansions, the latest ones, the ones that aren't going to leave the meta when start basically the year of the whatever the next one is going to be. They haven't announced it yet, right? The year of the Kraken gods haven't left the game yet, right? I'm pretty sure. Well, anyway, yeah, let's start with the first Angoro pack. And some lag, interesting. And after hatchling, yeah, this is actually I really like this card. Even though it's shuffle in your deck, like still a four three. Although wait, how much was the raptor? Was it like three mana four three? If it's three mana four three, then it's pretty bad. But I don't remember what. Wait, yeah, it's not even a normal card, right? Just remember. I actually did a Angora back opening on my finished channel earlier, but these two I haven't even done because I stopped after Angoro. Adapt a friendly minion, yeah. Adapt is pretty cool. Freeze an enemy, yep. Discover a Murloc is. It can be really good, it, it can be good for combos, but I don't know. I don't know the meta even right now. So, yeah. I think I should just open Temple Storm at least and see if I get some good cards. Yeah. Well, still. After is someone. Hmm. Do Silver Hand This is this is okay on Arena, I think. I don't. At least in the old Arena, it used to be really good. As like. Depending on what class you're playing against, but like if they can easily. The deal with the silver hand recruits, it's gonna be pretty good. But 7 mana 4 3 weapon overall isn't that good, really. Like, if it was 6 mana, maybe, but 7 mana is already getting pretty late game. And you really don't want to take extra damage at that point, most likely. So you're most likely gonna swing the face for 12 damage over 3 turns, which is actually. I mean. Yeah, considering controlling seven mana minions on arena with this card is mm, you're gonna take a lot of damage, and unfortunately, I I think the game's still pretty aggro heavy. Maybe I think aggro paladins like probably back with that and stuff like that. Discover a card from your opponent's class. Yeah, that's cool. A basic beast, it's pretty well statted, 
um, even though it's basically 9 mana 8 8, but it's a taunt card with 10 health, like, it's a beast, also, fine. 3 1 1 Raptors to your opponent. Now, Warriors have lots of tools to get rid of those 1 1s. And this is 2 mana 2 6, so this is really good for a Taunt Warrior, especially. Really liked playing Taunt Warrior, actually. Ultrasaur is useless card with 10, same as actually Giant Mastodon, because 9 and 10 mana cards are the ones you're supposed to win the game with, pretty much, and these do nothing. They have, they have boring, like they have, they don't do basically anything, and yeah, that's pretty much it. They, they have all the big numbers, but that's that. Grievous Bite is pretty good, like it's explosive shot except smaller version. Useful in certain situations against aggro, it's really good, it's two mana, you get potentially rid of three enemies of course they're gonna position against if people start playing river spite if they've been playing river spite they're gonna position the cards away the well yeah they're gonna have like one one two instead of one two one so yeah two packs now it's the third pack it's gonna take a while I always take my time with the this kind of opening 6 mana 8 2. At least it's not one health, but still, this is like beast version of and stealth version of a magma rager, pretty much. I don't know if people play this card. Maybe they do, but uh, I don't. There's so much AoE damage in this game. Don't think so. If control at least two other minions, gain taunt. Five mana, five six essentially. That can become a contant. So it's like a, it's pretty well started actually. But it, yeah, getting the taunt effect pulled off is well, it's not gonna happen every time. Depends on your deck, of course. Summon a friendly minion. Summon a one-one copy of it. This is something I really like. Choose a friendly minion, I mean. Like, if you... I mean, okay, people don't play Knife's Chakra most likely anymore that much, now that it's nerfed. But the one priest card that made, yeah, um, cheapened your spells, I think? It was part of that combo, right? Sure. Uh, binding heal, yeah, sure. It's heal. To a... Minion and your hero. Hmm, if it was to your target, you could use this as an aggro card, but yeah, no. With, by swapping the heal into damage instead. Hmm, sure. Interesting mechanic. But still, the stats aren't that good. It's like. Slightly better silverback Petra. Free from member, yeah. Summon a Ragnaros instantly. So basically, have a Ragnaros in your deck. Although, you can also get a Deathwing with this or something like that. With mana. But yeah, it's. I don't know if people have played this card even. Although, you can make it cheaper too uh, because it's a priest card. And a spell. And second one of these. Add two razor petals to your hand that deal one damage, so I think they're at zero mana. Mm, pretty good if you want, like Miracle Rogue. Man, I wish Miracle Rogue was back in the game. I could actually just, like, consider trying. I'm, I mean, I could try playing Miracle Rogue on Wild, maybe. This would be pretty nice for it. Red and long neck, sure, 5 mana, for uh, 4, so you can become a 1-1, one, one, like extra, so 6-5. Or get a wind fury or taunt or like plus 2 attack, I think, and divine shield plus maybe 1, you can add up to. And second one of these, sure. 
Do, do, do. First epic. Your minions has two more. One minute, two, two, three. Okay. Okay. This is bad. It's gonna slow down your deck a lot. It's a control card. It's one minute, two, three, but you can summon a minion next turn, which is something you want to do. So unless you can trade off this to your opponent's two mana card, this is gonna hurt you more than... Mm, yeah, no. Death Rattle Dia. Three damage to a random enemy minion. Two mana, one, one. It can be good, but... I mean, you can potentially, because if it's a random enemy minion, you can potentially get rid of a three drop or or a two drop but having a regular two drop would be well better most of the time like if this gets rid of a three drop like a three four and you trade three four it, you trade this into three four then i mean it stops the enemy from playing the three four most likely if they have an empty board like that way it's really good give your weapons Poisonous, so it's basically it kills when it deals damage, like every single time it kills. The minion, not of course, not the poison no, doesn't work on enemy heroes, of course. Um, tar Lurker. Sure, this is similar to the Tar Creeper. Nice little effect. 5 mana 4, 7, so it's basically 5 6 with taunt, so it's pretty good for being. A warlock card. It's good for. I mean, I don't have it. I don't know if whatever is the current version of warlocks like handlock is actually gonna play this card because I don't know if there's space for it. But yeah, it's brilliant. Like, like it's good for arena. It's common. Yeah, warlock arena might be good because of this. Maybe. I have actually no idea because I haven't watched any Hearthstone in a while. I haven't played anything. I haven't watched even Troll Den, so I have no idea what's up with the game currently. I don't even know what cards these two new as the expansions brought. So they are going to be completely new to me. Yeah, this is the one. I've seen some combos done with this. Um, yeah, deal through damage, sure. Trigger friend minion death rattle, sure. It's pretty good. It's battle cry, it's 3 mana 3 3, but it's not a beast. For some reason. I mean, it's 2 mana, so it's not a beast, I guess. 4 mana 3 3 is also pretty bad stats wise, actually. I mean, kinda. When you compare it to, it to Iron Force Rifleman, it's 3 mana 2 2. This is 4 mana 3 3, but it deals 2 damage instead. And Storm, what was it? Stormforge Commando? Wait, what was it? 5 mana 4, 2 that dealt 2 damage. This is 4 mana 3, 3. This is better than that, at least. Thunder Lizard. What was it actually called? I'm gonna probably put the guard here. Edit it here, like I usually do. If you played an elemental last turn, adapt. Sure. So it's 3 mana 4 4 potentially if you played an. I mean, yeah, if you played an elemental, I think there are some elemental decks, at least used to be. There used to be a, a jeweled Macau. Random Beast to your hand. Now, Random Beast can be really good, or it can be Captain's Parrot. Yeah. Sure. Wait, it's random. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't draw a random beast from your deck. It's uh, it adds a random beast. Yeah, um, could be targeted by spells or hero powers. Okay, this is pretty good against a mage or, or well, pretty much against mage actually. You're not gonna like one uh, one health minion. You're not gonna use targeted spells anyway, most likely, unless you're. I mean, yeah, you're. You wouldn't even backstab a air elemental. 
Iron Hide is pretty good for a mana 5 armor. Yeah, pretty nice. Beating time. So it still summons 3 if you have spell power. It's pretty bad actually. Dark Reaper, yeah, sure, sure. I really like the art of Darhara Hatsling. Yeah, I mean, it's really good. 5 minute 3 6 taunt is pretty overpriced, but having a 6 9 taunt shuffled in their deck, warriors are usually pretty slow decks, taunt warrior especially. Although it's beast on a warrior, which is, well, beast really doesn't do anything on a warrior, I think, unless there's something new here. It suddenly changes that warriors have some beast synergies, but I don't know. Usually hunters and druids are the one that actually have some use for beast tribes. Yeah. Draw a secret from your deck. This is really good, actually. But Freeish Mates isn't the thing anymore, unfortunately. Now that in standard, that is, because Ice Lands went away. Um. Igneous Elemental. Sure. They probably cast one mana. In Arena, this is fine. But uh, I, uh, you, nobody's gonna play this on standard. Ranked. Um, reduce the cost of Elementals in your hand by one. Okay, this is pretty cool, kind of. If you have lots of elementals, but two mana one one is still pretty bad. It's basically a spell at that point. Such a small body. And yeah, second one of those. And the last one. Discover a secret. Okay. Sure. Um, I wonder if there are any secrets, like, like they can be anything. Can they be other than Balanin secrets? Because then this could be really good. Doesn't actually say. Sure, so gonna one of these. Don't give up for random friendly minion plus one plus one. So it's four mana three seven. Really good stat wise, actually. Like four six, four mana four six, basically. Wait, no, three seven. Yeah, or six. Yes, yes. If you like, start stabilizing the stats a little bit, um, or evening them out. I mean, copy card from your opponent's deck and add it to your hand. Sure, this sounds like a rogue card. Although priests are also steal, apparently. Mm, Azira. Sure. It's my reason except the minion. Ooh, that's a nice animation. Okay. Simulacrum. Copy lowest cost minion in your hand. Interesting. If halves. You could basically copy something huge if you're playing something like Archmage or Giant Mage. Giant Mage would be actually pretty neat with this. Arcane Golem? What's the one? Uh, Arcane Giant? Wait, what was it? Is there Arcane Giant? Something that gets cheaper every time you sp play spells? Maybe there was something like that? Uh, Crave Shambler, whenever your weapon is just right, gain plus one, plus one. Well, this one's never gonna happen, but. Even a 5 5 is like 4 mana 5 5, I guess it's fine. Um, you need quite a lot of damage minions to actually have this be worth it. Like, you need 3 damage minions on the board, but luckily for warriors, that's pretty common. Because of all the whirlwind effects. 
Very cool. Very cool. Haha. <laughs> cool. If you uh, if, if it's your opponent's turn, summon a plus. How to to cool. Hmm. That's interesting. So you can trade it on your own turn. Interesting. So you have to go aggro with this. But, hmm. 3 mana 5 3 is stats wise really good. But it's so. I mean, yes, yeah, sir. For aggro, maybe, but there are better choices for this. It's a sticky card. Air Shark. Got to be targeted by spells or hero powers. 3 mana for 3, pretty good. For Arena at least. Not sure if anyone's gonna play that. A normal situation. Because it doesn't have other than a beast synergy and it's not charge or anything like that. And there's already cards on tree slot. Animal companion and the bow. And probably unleashed hounds. Like even basic cards on that slot. There's some competition. A 4 mana card would be more interesting, I think. Wait, is there any? I'm not sure what the 100 cards even are currently. Um, yeah, plus 2 spell damage, sure, whatever. It's 6 mana, 4, 4, it's pretty trash, but plus 2 spell damage is still pretty good. But yeah, maybe in Arena, maybe, but don't. Nah, probably not, though. Two mana one three is okay with this effect, but you also need to use the hero power for this to actually matter. Can be useful, but I don't think it's gonna be used that much. Bonemar, give a friendly minion plus four plus four and taunt. Eight mana nine nine, sure. Huh. Druid got the Crypt Lord, interesting. This is... Hmm, it's 3 mana. So, 1-6, one, one, so it's basically like... Hmm, 3-4, and it's gonna get gain more health. Like, it's going to stop some aggro, it's really heavy on the aggro actually. But, that's pretty much it. Lifesteal, sure. I don't think anyone's gonna use that because health. I mean, it's it does matter in some cases, but usually you just stop using your face on trading at that point. I don't. Mm, yeah. Let's see of these. Give a friendly union plus one attack. This is good. This is pretty good actually. Yeah. And it's like staying that. Plus one. Although there's already the arch and wait, Abu Super Shards and that gave plus two, I think. But it's only for the turn. This is constant. Perma buff. That's and the one the minions got probably gonna die after that, so it actually doesn't matter arch and uh, Abu Super Shards and this better basically. What I'm saying. Um, try demand shield minion from your deck. Three mana two two. It's draw. Hard. So it basically, yeah, it's worth it, kinda. If you have Tyrion as your only Divine Shield minion on your deck, this is even more worth it because you're gonna draw Tyrion. But if you don't, if it, if Tyrion is the only Divine Shield minion and you draw Tyrion first, then this is gonna do nothing. So who knows? Whenever this minion takes damage, this got a random card. Okay. That's milling yourself, pretty much. Mm, except even worse, because it's on the draw, card draw, that's really bad. Like, if it won't burn the 
the god of your deck. That would be really bad. But yeah. Sure. I mean would would be better actually. No, not really bad. But the current one is even worse. Ooh, I would say new Hero Mana 1 1 Beast, hello. Um, but give a friend the minion. Let's try to resummon this minion. Okay, this is pretty good. Many uses for this. Sure. Set minions and. They can have the tree. This card has two ways to use it. You can use it against a really strong enemy minion, or you can use it to buff your 1 1. And I think using it to reduce like. 12, 12 or something like that. Reduce a cartoon into a 3-3. Tree tree. Although cartoon is removed pretty soon. Yeah, and these ones are old. Choose a friendly minion, destroy it and run and a random enemy minion. Hmm. Okay, so if you have some crap like a imp on your deck. You can sacrifice it to destroy enemy cartoon, potentially. But that's never good. I mean, that's of course uh, has happened already multiple times, but sure. Some good value there, yeah. Especially if it's a death rattle card, you're kidding. It's even better. Like, if it's in a ruby and egg in wild, something like that, it's really good. Toxic Arrow deals 2 damage to a minion if it survives, give poisonous. Of course, it is only good if the opponent has only big minions on board, which, well, the rush late game can happen, of course. But it's really situational. I'm not sure if I would actually put this in a deck. Maybe. But what kind of deck, though? This is Control card and Control ball plays really big minions, mostly. Yeah, 3 mana, 2 8, and Overlord of 3. You can get rid of the Overlord, I think you can still... Wait, did it go away from standard already? Or is it only going now? The whatever, what? Lava... No? Flame... Whatever the... Was it Lava Shock? That cleared Overlord? I don't remember anymore. Yeah, whatever, I don't like Shaman on uh, Hearthstone, that is. Sure. Second one of those, that was. Mm, I mean, plus one spell damage is pretty good. It's two mana, two, three. This used to be a good card. But now it's too underpowered because it has to be at least two mana for fourth be viable. Sure, a life steal deal to damage to a minion. Sure, but life steal is pretty useless. I think a like healing your face. Uh, on a warlock, yeah, warlock takes damage, but warlock. I mean, okay, warlock doesn't anymore want to take that much damage because. They nerfed Molten Giant, which was such a stupid move. Whenever your weapons destroyed... Actually, the nerfing Molten Giant was one of the reasons I stopped playing Hearthstone. It was... In the end, it was like a combination of multiple things, but that was one of those smaller things. Whenever your weapons destroyed, gain plus one, plus one. Sure, you want shield and spell damage. Whatever. Mm -hmm. It's gonna last longer because it has Divine Shield, it's 2 and 1 1, but it only has one attack, so it's not gonna do much. But well, the Divine Shield is fine, but there are better cards for adding spell damage, so. Yeah. I mean, there are some arena cards here. Um, Bone Baron. So they are zero mana, hopefully, these skeletons. With, um, I mean, of course, for combo purposes, this is pretty good. And for like, 
Yeah, okay, sure. Like questing out when there is gonna like this god. I don't wanna cleave. Your hero is immune to stern. Fine. You can trade like um or a tree with this for free, like without taking damage, I guess. It's 3 mana 3 2. It's basically actually the new like Fire Winax, which was nerfed. They increased its uh, mana cost apparently. So, um, good for our arena. Really good for Arena, actually. This might actually survive for long, more than one turn in Arena, possibly. Or it gets fireballed the next turn after you summon it. We see our other minions. Might be fine on Arena, too, because you might not have anything on the board when you play this, so yeah. Your girlfriend finished. The, uh, hmm, death rattle. That's pretty good. Depends on what the death rattle effect is. If it's shove on a high main, you get two twos. Two two twos. Yes. Discard all weapons from your hand and gain uh, their stats. Okay. Now you can make this a really big beast. But is it worth it? Big Game Hunter, or is it even played anymore? Most likely not. But it's, there's still some removal, like instant removal. Like, quite a lot of it, so... <gasps> Maybe. It's two skeletons, so it's four mana, four, six. It's stat-wise pretty good, but it's spread into multiple targets. You can kill this and there... No, actually, wait. Does it summon them next to each other, or...? Is this card between them? Hmm, because that matters for explosive shot. Of course, well, still, I mean, it's okay for Arena. Choose an enemy minion and at the start of your turn gain control of it. This shows slow, but. Really slow. And that's gonna probably make your opponent trade it to one of your cards, possibly. If it's rag, I mean, wait, rag also was removed from standard, right? Uh, if it's, I don't know, some big boy, sure, but you're still gonna get dealt quite a lot of damage with this. It's basically, um, I mean, four mana cheaper mind control, but it's also slower. You can play it more early. Might be good, maybe. I don't know. It's hard to tell. I don't know the current method as well, so. Yeah. Your death rattle cards cost two less. Sure. Like, it's stat-wise already f uh, passing, and making cards 2 less is really good. You can make stuff on a higher main to cost 2 less, so that's really good. Okay. So this is... Death Pythor's Axe, except it has a battle cry too, of giving, dealing the battle fury thing. Wait, whirlwind, not but yeah, whirlwind. So it sacrifices the two damage for a second battle cry whirlwind. It's fine, kinda. If you want to do Panzer Whirlwinds, but well, for Grim Patron, this would have been amazing. 
but it's not a thing anymore really, not even in wild I think. Deal one damage to all minions if they die, cast this again. Okay, yeah, this is pretty cool. You can get, like this card can escalate really badly. Especially on that, there was that one adventure where there were like eggs, I think, on the enemy side. And each of them like gained health every turn, like with one. So you could clear the entire board with this one card, pretty much. If you play things right. Whenever this minion takes damage to gain plus two attack. Wait, does it only cast this once or can this be repeated multiple times? Mm. For a minute three, four, it's gonna die probably from the one attack, but if it doesn't, sure. It's four mana five three at that point, and you can heal it. And if it's gonna take damage again, for well, it's dead at that point almost every time. But yeah, sure. It's fine for Arena. We got the skeleton. Mmm. That's I mean there being some skeleton cards, yeah, but that's still really bad. Four mana one one is like if this was three mana, maybe. But like both of the decks would have to be playing skeletons for this to actually matter. Skeleton meta, who knows? Ooh, legendary. Ooh, Sintracosa. I like Sintracosa. Give friend dominion spell damage plus one. Sure, it was. I already saw that one actually. Poisonous. Sure. You give it. You give that to a one-one. A skeleton probably. Uh, Sintracosa. Summon two. Chiro and Frozen Champions. Are they like? Is this the Doctor Boom? Of this expansion. What do Frozen Champions? Do, actually. Oh, at a random legendary minion to your hand. Okay. That's interesting. Yeah, this is almost like new Dr. Boom, pro like, potentially. Wait, did it have a taunt? Did those have taunt? Because if they had... No, they don't have taunt, okay. So you need to destroy them. I mean, you're a mage, you can easily fire blast them, but that's not a good way use of a fire blast, really. Although, I mean, you're drawing a legendary minion that can be a really good or, well, really bad, because there's some variety in legendaries now. Most of them are pretty bad. Yeah. I'd like to actually see if this card is played. Discover a friend minion that died this game. Summon it. Okay. Interesting. So they're basically doing like a graveyard interaction with this card. Is there a new resurrect? And you can get to discover. This can be really good. You can resurrect some big boys with this. Prophet Wellen and such. Summon a to-do spirit with town, restore three health to upgrade. What is this even? What is any of this? Sure. At the start of your turn, set this minus attack to four. Mm, okay, in arena at least. Throw a card, give a divine seal, really good actually. Draw a card for two mana is good. Already, pretty much. Mm -hmm. So recruit was discover, but instead of getting it in your hand, you play it. That's pretty good, right? That's how it works. Someone a minion from your deck. Oh, okay, never mind. There's no discover there. Too bad. Add a, add three silver hand recruits to your hand. That's pretty bad. Two mana one one. You draw three trash cards. One mana one ones. Yeah, no. I mean, 
if you don't have anything else on your hand, then just slip a turn three or kind of play three silver hand recruits. But whatever. Town battle cry deal two damage to your enemy hero. Enemy hero. I mean, of course, it's the enemy hero. Um, your hero. Wait, your hero, not your enemy. Hero. What? I misread it completely. I was expecting to see the other way around for some reason. Two mana, two four taunt. I mean, whatever. It's arena card. It's turn to spin. It is. Hmm. Interesting. So it's like that one legendary that transforms into a random legendary. Is well, but it's a spell instead that transforms into spells. Interesting. Does it actually count as a spell outside of your deck for the quest? That requires, like, for the time warp. Hmm. Recruit an 8 cost minion. Sure. You can recruit. Uh, I mean, Rack is gone. Well, something else big. 8 mana cost cards can be really good. In Arena, that's really good. 7 mana 3-3. Three, three. And also 8 mana card, if you have one, it's really good. You, of course, need to pick up the 8 mana card first. But yeah. Keep your minions dead rather than summon a random basic totem. If you got many totems already on board and you play this one, it's gonna be really annoying for the opponent. Even seldom poison knows it's gonna kill off two minions. It's actually pretty good. In theory, in arena. Yeah, maybe. It, you can potentially kill off two cards, but most likely it's going to be fire blasted or knifed or something like that. Although it's three mana card, it's probably going to kill off like two one ones or something like that, or two one cost minions. Reveal a spell in each deck. If you cost, if yours cost more, draw it. Okay, that's pretty good. It's like jousting. Except with spells, and mages can have really expensive spells. That's pretty neat. But you're gonna mm, draw a really expensive spell, so it's not gonna be useful. But you're gonna have it for later. Well, whatever. Someone now 5 1 Revenant. So it's like double Razor. It's still bad. And it even costs more, so yeah. At one random mage spell to your hand, play two up elementals to upgrade. What is an upgrade? I actually need to. What, what, what is upgrade? I didn't even watch the launch, I mean, the, like the stream when they announced this. What is the upgrade person? You have to play two elements while this card is hand, right? So it get, becomes like a Ruba Spellstone instead of Lesser, I guess. Sure. Interesting. Mm, whatever's the better version then. Re At the end of your turn, recruit the dragon. Um, I mean, there are some big dragons in the game, yeah. And it's a new dragon. Synergy card, so of course it's welcome. Sure, not even like those, but there's a minion with one or less attack. Um, yeah, it's pretty trash. I mean, there are the crypt lords and stuff like that now in the game, but yeah, still pretty bad. Healing rain can be good, kind of, but doesn't do enough. It's a healing god. Whatever. Really. I mean... Tr mm, against aggro this is good. But yeah. Three or more armor. Four mana three six. 
You can gain armor while you have this guard on the board, but you're probably not gonna get to attack with it. Mm, unless there's some new cards that give Druid some armor, most likely they are. After your opponent plays a minion, deals 6 damage to it and any excess to their hero. Well, the later part doesn't actually matter, but it's basically freezing trap, except it kills it instead of returning it to hand. So yeah, although you can trigger a death rattle with it. Sure. For its enemy minion, gain two armor. Yeah, sure, for control. Like, anti-aggro, really good for that. Cobalt Apprentice, deal 3 damage, randomly split among all enemies. Potentially it can deal quite a lot on board, but... I mean, it can even kill a 3 mana card off, and then it's still a 2-1 fine, I guess, but I still wouldn't play this in standard. Uh, and it's a healer, sure. It's like knockout siren, nobody's gonna play it. Booster for health, sure. Reduce the cost of random weapon in your hand by two. Okay, for warrior, this is pretty good because fire warrex is too expensive. Only problem is that it's already four mana, so it's too late to play fire warrex at that point. Game studded golem. Taunt can only attack if you have five or more armor. Pretty good actually. For six mana five nine. I'm really I'd really like to play some Taunt Warrior actually. This is really good for that too. Darmol, one mana one three, sure. That's some really serious power creep though. Like it's just straight up better than I mean it's one three instead of being like two two, I guess, but sure. Sure. Add a coin to your hand. Three mana two two, so it's basically two 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 mana two two, so it's still pretty mm. Yeah, for rogue this would be really good, but for priest No I don't think so. For arena maybe. Sleepy dragon. I'm in a four twelve. You should be winning with nine mana and ten mana cards again. This doesn't win you a game, except if you're a priest and you want to double this, its health and strike your opponent's face, but still there are better cards for that. Hook Reaver. Okay, sure, 4 mana 7 7, and it's pretty fast. I mean, you can really easily get... Okay, this is actually really good, because this is basically like new Molten Giant. It's 7-7 seven, seven instead of 8-8. Eight, eight. Also, it's not free. But... It has taunt on, on its own. Basically. Every single time you play this. Okay. Uh, I can maybe see... Handlock getting back in the game. Possibly. That's good. Let's choose a basic totem. Summon it. That's bad. I mean, not really actually, because it's almost like, I mean, you're using a card and you're basically ca casting your hero, hero power. So it's hero power that discards a card and spawns a 1-1, one, one, basically. Is 1-1 one, one worth a discard, a discarded card? Not really. So yeah, no, not good. I think. I mean... Mm, you, you get to choose the totem though, so it's hard to say. Hmm. Maybe? You Because you still get, if it's turn 4, you get to still use your hero power with this god. Hmm. Deal 8 damage to a minion overlord with 3. 
sure, so it's 5 mana deal 8 damage. Except Overlord is worse than paying the actual cost, because you can do anything the next turn. Most of the time, copy a spell in your opponent's deck and add it to your hand. Sure. Some Randu in action. Deal 6 damage to a dragon. I mean, fine. Sure. 3 mana 4 3. You get to kill a dragon, most likely. Even though dragons are really. Like, this is really good for Arena. It's stat wise, like, pretty basic already. I remember when 3 mana 3 4s were really. Like, rare. And then the Dark Coldest game. And then. They started being everywhere. Uh, Duskbreaker. But if you're holding a dragon, deal 3 damage to all of the minions. Sure. Dragon Priest. They are trying to re resurrect it. Maybe in wild it's a thing. Gain 6 armor, recruit a minion that costs 4 or less. Okay, so Druid's got an normal card. Mm, four or less. Okay, this is actually really good. I mean, if you get a four mana card recruited, it's really good. If you get one mana card, it's pretty bad, but again, in six armor. I mean, you're not gonna draw that card later if you recruit it, right? It's gonna it just make a copy. Summon a mini. Okay, sure. So it doesn't. You get, get rid of the card in your deck, so you're gonna more likely draw something better later. Recruit a demon. You face Draxus. Summon. Does it actually trigger a tra uh, battle? Your battle rates is wait. What? But battle cries. Yes, that's the one. Probably not gonna, because it should be play a card. Yes. Yeah, that's usually be the logic. Although Hearthstone has no logic. Um, on actual like descriptions. Battle cry, give your other minions plus one health. Sure. At the end of the turn end of your turn, summon a random one cast minion. Shrieking shroom. I mean there are some really good one cast minions, but you're gonna you're only gonna get one. And it has to be a really good one for this to be worth it. So yeah, no. And these ones are old. Hmm. Might be good. If you're I mean there are some cards that give you some silver hand recruits. In wild this is pretty good. But I don't know if there's space for this card in the wild decks. Travel card, then two damage to your heroes. Sure, this is actually pretty good. Charming cards. And you're basically casting your hero power for free, kinda, because you're getting 1 mana 2 1. Huh, interesting. Give your opponent 2 coins, 4 mana 5 6. So you, this is basically. If your opponent's rogue, he wins. Sure. Play the beetle, death rather will gain 3 armor. Neutral armor card. Really interesting. Two mana. I mean, on the arena, this, that's already really good. Sure. And yeah, that was that. Man. Sure. What there is actually like. Yeah, old cards are still. Katsusan's gonna leave too. And Karasan is gonna leave next. Yeah. In a couple of weeks, I think. And then there's only gonna be these four expansions. Sure. I haven't bought any of these yet. Okay. And then I'm gonna check how much dust I actually got from them, because that also matters. 360, sure. That's okay. I can make a new legendary. 
I think. Wait, it's one. Hmm. How much was the cost again? Uh, okay, I can make one. Sure. There's already so many new cards. Because I just, well, opened some packs. But yeah, okay. Hmm. It seems to be a pretty good deal. I don't think this is enough for me to return to the game yet. I only got one legendary and you, most decks need at least one or two new ones. I got some dust. Of course there's some variants in the deck openings, like some people might get tr three legendaries from those 30 cards, card packs. I got only one. Yeah. I mean, that sure helps. If I want to return during this year back to Hearthstone, maybe? But yeah, that's pretty much it. I thank you for uh, I thank you for watching this video and yeah, I don't know if I play more Hearthstone in this channel actually, like maybe I'll try out some dungeon runs. I haven't done any of them yet. And I have a Night on the Frozen Throne, but that's pro something I'm probably gonna do on my own because it's already so old content. So yeah, there's that. But yeah. Bye!